Daniel Medvedev versus Hubert Hercatch is the third quarterfinal for the Men's Australian Open for 2024. And both have had to fight to get to this stage. Hercatch entered the tournament as the number nine seed. And we'll take on the qualifier, Jazika, in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straight. 7 6, 6 4, 6 2. In the second round, he take on another qualifier, Mensik. And after dropping two of the first three sets, he'd be forced to fight back in five. 6 7, 6 1, 5 7, 6 1, 6 3. Third round, he take on Ugo and Bear, the 21st seed. And after splitting the first two sets, Hercatch would eventually get through in four. 3 6 6 1 7 6 6 3. In the fourth round, he'd take on the wild card Kazo, who'd beaten Holger Runer along the way. And after a couple of close sets, Hercatch would outlast Kazo 7 6 7 6 6 4 to make it to the quarterfinals. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number three seed and will take on the qualifier at main in the first round. And after dropping the first set, Medvedev would fight back to win 5 7 6 2 6 4 1 love. Retirement. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori, who'd been in a little bit of form to start the season. And after dropping the first two sets, Medvedev would fight back to win 3 6, 6 7, 6 4, 7 6, 6 love to finish at 3 30 in the morning Australian time. In the third round, he'd take on the 27 seed Ojel Yassim, a man that he'd played an epic five setter against two years ago. But this was not the same match with Medvedev getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Borges, the unseated player who would come through players like Dimitrov and Fakina along the way. And after dropping the third set, Medvedev would wrap it up in four, 6-3, 7-6, 5-7, 6-1, to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played five times before with Hercatch leading the head-to-head 3-2, -head which was a little bit surprising considering that Medvedev, for the best part of the last three years, has been the better player, and also having won their last two matches, both in 2022, Hercatch in straight sets. If Hercatch is going to win this one, he needs to serve big, and he also probably needs to volley and come to the net with that variation. We know Medvedev stands so far behind the baseline, and a great way to beat him is coming to the net. We saw that a little bit with Borges as well. He was coming to the net a lot, really catching Medi off guard, so that's what Hercatch is going to have to do if he's going to win this match. Medvedev is going to win this one. He needs to keep his cool. He's been kind of cracking under the pressure a little bit lately with some of these matches. Of course, that Rusevori match, he got out of jail there. He was two points away from losing. And even against Borges, he was getting a little frustrated despite winning that match in the third or the second and third sets. He was in the lead. He has to kind of keep that in, in check because he is going to be playing against Hercatch, who's very cool, calm, and collected for the most part. What a great matchup. It's such an interesting style clash. I mean, they've both got massive serves. The head-to-head -head is almost identical. I'm going to go with Medvedev, though, in five sets. This is such an interesting match, though, because I think it could go to Hercatch. But I'll go with Medvedev. I think he just clutches it out at the end and gets to the semifinals. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.